say good morning. It's day two of wild camping in Dartmoor and I've just camped up just behind this tour up here. And I wasn't gonna film this morning so I had a lie and missed sunrise. And it probably was an absolute cracker because there's still fog all in the surrounding valleys. Last night the fog came right up to the top of the moor and from where I was standing on the top of my rock, I was about three meters above a complete sea of fog. A bit like a real cloud inversion. Really, really cool, completely moonlit. I got a cool couple of shots of um, this tour with the stars behind with a bit of mist coming down before it. Really cool. So anyway, I'm heading back down to the car to recharge batteries. No plan for today. I'm just gonna, yeah, wing it, see what happens. I wasn't gonna film anything, but we just have this sea of cloud in front of me now. I'm walking down this way. I've just got the long lens on and I'm just picking in a few shots. We've got a couple of breaks in the clouds. And yeah, why not? Start the day with a little bit of photography. And I shall, uh, yeah, be heading down soon, but why not enjoy it? A little bit windier today, but really nice and warm. Yeah, fantastic morning already. What's up everyone? So uh, we are here at the evening camp spot, or at least in the vicinity. So I'm on basically on the other side of the moors, and I just realised when I go up here, the tiny speck right in the distance, the furthest tour in eyesight, is where I camped last night. So we're much closer to the road here, it's a nice easy walk up. Um, we've got one tour right on the hillside looking down into a valley. This one here is, I don't know, maybe 50 metres behind, 100 metres behind. And then behind me we've got another one. So it's a really nice sequence of tours here. Way more going on than yesterday. So yesterday was nice with quite minimal shots. As you can see there's a lot of rocks, a lot of boulders just strewn over the landscape. Really interesting rock formations great view down this valley here um, and then nice expanse out towards back up the moors so photography wise this should be a great spot so i think for this sunset i'll probably do a lot of running about going wide angle with all these boulders in the foreground shooting the rock formations and then down the valley and there's so many options i'm just gonna have to decide what's best to do to the light and then do do sunrise in the morning in the opposite direction and cover both. Right, so now where I'm going to camp, just down here on this little ledge, with pretty awesome views right across the moors. I myself, I'm at a tour, so that would just be down on the edge. But we have these beautiful formations up and around here. So 
I think photography wise I'm just going to be shooting everywhere but I'm particularly interested in shooting from this location over here this this tour which has a great view right down into the valley lots of interesting things to focus in on and there's a great view back this direction as well so I think I'm good to pitch the tent here it's a bit further away a bit quieter hopefully just me and then during sunset sunrise I can head down here um, but yeah we'll just see what's good it's about five o'clock now I'm gonna have a snack and then get the tent up and just chill out for a bit and get ready for what could be another manic sunset So we're just uh, getting a brew on out of the wind. It's not that windy really and it's meant to die down a bit tonight. Some other people camping on this tour over here. But um, I'm liking where I am. I mean how about this? So we're about an hour and a half from sunset now. I think I'm going to start shooting here, see what the sky's looking like, and then maybe head down to this tour. I think tomorrow morning, because the sun's going to be rising up this way, I'll just head straight down in the dark to this tour and shoot into the valley. But um, yeah, have a brew, have some food, just enjoy this. What a, what a nice spot, 2 out of 2, smashing it this weekend. So we're about an hour off sunset now, just getting out the camera for the first couple of shots. There's plenty of little uh, sheep around so I've just got a few shots of those on the long lens. But it's really thin high cloud. And um, the sun is just tucked behind it while we're getting this indirect, indirect sunlight coming across the scene. So it's a really simple shot, shooting portrait, as wide angle as I can go, just using these side lit rocks leading down up to the tour in the distance. And there's nice texture in the sky although there's no colour. But for a first shot, just getting the camera on, not too bad. So as the sun's setting now, yeah, it's a really nice soft glow in the valley. So I've got the long lens on, portrait orientation at the moment. Centre frame is this little church on the hill. We're getting some either haze or mist or fog rolling underneath it. A nice band of orange on top. So it's quite a pleasing image, very simple, very minimal. And uh, I think that's all we're going to get tonight unless maybe we get some stars, but it's almost a full moon, so maybe some moonlit rocks landscapes, who knows? But to be honest, I don't think I'm going to get anything more from here. Probably best off conserving batteries for the morning. And fingers crossed for a good sunrise.
got amazing light and colour behind us. And we have this fog rolling over the hill into the valley and coming up towards us. I think quite soon we're going to be completely in it. But it's giving some really nice interesting shapes. So I'm just ex experimenting with shutter speed a bit. Just shooting straight into these kind of waves of uh, fog. Really abstract with this really intense pink and purple behind. It looks very nice. And then again we've got the pylon looking quite cool. So I've got the long lens on. Just gonna shoot it. Can no longer see into this valley. I'm making my way back to the tour where I slept. Um, and yeah, just just shooting this way, but really nice atmosphere at the moment. Really cool. So I was surprised to see any mist this morning, it wasn't forecast, but the weather this weekend's just been so good so far. So I've been shooting some long exposures just into the clouds, this big thing, phone pylon, um, phone mast, phone tower, phone stick. That has the mist kind of slowly coming across it, so I'm currently just filming it at the moment. And I am, um, yeah, the views are amazing. We've got mist rolling over the hills now behind this tour. At the moment, I don't really feel the need to take any more pictures. The sun's not up yet. It's still probably, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minutes of sunrise. But, yeah, I'm not too sure what to shoot. I also quite want to just have a coffee and a kick back and just enjoy it. We've had such a good weekend so far for weather and pictures. Don't need to get a picture every shoot. Just want to, uh, yeah, just enjoy it. So yeah, I'm going to get the kettle on and sit down with my coffee. Just watch the fog roll over the hills. Another great morning. So the sun's about to rise and all the batteries on the camera have now gone, which is quite nice. Now I've got no guilt about not taking any pictures and just sitting down and watching the sun come up and enjoying it. So I've just made my coffee and I'm just going to go sit down and yeah, wait for the sun to rise. Another beautiful morning. So that's a wrap guys, another great world camp, still got one more day left in Dartmoor, but this time staying actually indoors. As always thanks for watching, remember to hit like, subscribe, keep your eye out for new content.